I love those sound effects. <laughs> That's awesome. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup around the house. Uh, keep working on the house. We need to make the ectoplasm press, and then we're going to go out and see if we can get the almanac and the tannery. That is the plan for today's episode. So let's go ahead and set that as the quest, and then we just go to collector guy. I've got all the stuff I need uh, to make this. I actually went back to the Revelwood hollow halls and f just farmed the first part of it to get more ecto because i didn't have enough um so yeah let's craft this thing a special crafting station that allows its devious users to create otherworldly objects or ingredients rather okay beware of the darkness yeah beware of the darkness that's what flashlights are for okay let's see we want to take and put this right here and that's pretty sizable Okay, now he wants to talk to us. Nestled underneath the Nomad Highlands. Oh, my flame to touch, friend, the hollow whisper of your name in the dead of night. Marble columns hide their terror. Go to the Nomad Highlands and spread their fear like wildfire. The task will be arduous. Go prepared. Okay, that'll be our next one, Hi Nomad Highlands. All right, what are we making this thing? We make ectoplasm. And then that's all we make is ectoplasm. We need ectoplasm fragments. Torn cloth and charcoal. All right. Well, at some point, I'm sure it'll be revealed to us why we need ectoplasm. I don't know what that's used for at this point. Somebody else wants to talk to us now, too. Let's put that salt in there. Uh, oi. About the collector. I've been around for long. I've been around for long, kid. Shouldn't that be, like, for a long time, kid? Nothing much scares me anymore, and that collector is no different. A strong ally, no matter their secrets. All that talk about the veil, about life and death. Can they bring someone back from beyond? I'd pay any price. Ooh. He probably wants his daughter. Interesting. Um, can you bring back uh, people from beyond? No comment? Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe you ought to just talk to him yourself and see what he says. Okay? Okay. All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's do, do a little bit of work around the house. Um... So we kind of, let's see, what do we got? To, we got to fix this, except for I don't have the right blocks for it, but we got to fix it anyway. So whether or not we have the right blocks, it needs to be fixed. And somehow or another, with my messing around down in the basement, I screwed this up a little bit too, but I don't know. Maybe that'll go away later. Let's grab our building hammer. Uh, I'm going to grab the summoning staff in case I need to move one of these guys out of the way. And for building blocks, I think we're going to hang on to the black and red blocks for when we work on the, the manor. Because um, those, I don't know, those just feel a little bit too fancy pants for what we're doing here. Let's grab that, that, uh, maybe some shroud wood, weathered stone, and maybe city wall block. I don't think we want any of the rest of that. So, yeah, we're going to need a little bit of both types of blocks to fix that issue. Why don't we get the weathered city wall? I think we, I think we want weathered because I think the city wall is the one that. Well, let's take a look and see what it actually looks like um, for walls. I know I don't like the floors, but we might, we might be able to do something with the walls if we just popped. It's a matter of, well, you know, we have to kind of start down here anyways, don't we, now that I think about it. So what if we, okay, I got to turn snapping off. It's just being too much of a pain in the ass here.
Okay. Take that back out. Put it back in. Yeah, man, I don't know. Let's do, let's do this side. Take it out, put it back. I mean, it does patch it. Okay. Why don't we try the other, the weathered stone block? I think that looks better except for the bones, but we can't do anything about the bones. We've already had this conversation. Not a damn thing I can do about it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's that's the best we can do without using the really crude stone, which I don't really want to do because I don't think that's going to look any better. We should... Let's just take a peek at that. Uh, that's this here. I switched my graphics card over to the to the Radeon uh, Pro drivers to try and troubleshoot some issues I was having more with editing software, not so much gaming. And it's it seems to be kind of stuttering a bit. It's like micro stuttering, so. Hopefully that doesn't show up too bad on the video for you guys. Okay, let's just put this in and look at it. See, that looks like shit too. <laughs> that, that does not look any better at all. Uh, in fact, worse, in my opinion. So we'll put that back and we'll have to call that good until we can come up with, you know, until we can find this type of block. Um, I'm fairly sure I found that type of block in season one. I just don't remember. So if you guys know where I can find this block, feel free to tell me in the comments. That will not be counted as a spoiler. Because um, I would like to... I'm in a, I I like this. I do like this block, at least for the walls. Um, not a fan of the, the floor part of it, but at least for the walls, I like it. So, All right, let's see here. Since we're kind of working on this corner, I think I'm going to wait to do the downstairs part until we find the right blocks. But let's go see if we can fix the upstairs corner there. Um, let's get rid of this stuff. We have a, a torture victim in our house. Let's put him out of his misery even though he's been miserable for 2,000 years in that position. Better late than never, though, right? Um, those benches are in good shape, but they're kind of in a weird spot, so I think I'm going to get rid of them. Uh, plus, we need to clear the rubble off this floor anyway, which I, I think the only way we're going to do that is to um, have to remove it and then do it over again. Okay, so let's go to this block, and we want door frame shape. The problem with the door frame shape, though, is that it's it wants to be up high because it thinks it's a door frame, and I don't know how. Shift forward, shift back, rotate 90 degrees. Yeah, I don't know how to flip it vertically, right, is the thing, so. So we might have to go with, oh yeah, this is what I actually want anyways. Making things harder than they need to be. Um, What's that look like down below? Uh, damn it. Might be easier to do this from the outside. 
Okay, I think that's that went in correctly. Okay, let's turn this this way. And um, go here. Yeah. I think that's exactly what we needed to do with that to fix that corner. Seems like there's something kind of weird going on on the corner of the roof, though. We might be able to fix that just by replacing that roof piece with a, a fresh roof piece. Unless there's... Maybe there's more um, broken blocks in that corner that's causing that. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's this business right here. All right, so let's go to... Um, here. And if I just get rid of this stuff, just the broken block pieces. Looks like we have some rubble here, too. Okay, I think that gets rid of all the broken block pieces. So now if we go back to... Um, here, 2 meter, and back to here. And flip it this way. That looks pretty clean from up here. And it still did not fix the roof issue, though. It's like there's some weird blo uh, broken blocks there. So let's grab some brick. Where do I have brick? Down here, probably, right? Yes. Hmm, I hope that's enough to make... A couple of building blocks. Fired bricks block. Yeah, that should be enough to do the roof. Whoop. Okay, let's go to brick and down to roof pieces. Missing materials craft. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, I was supposed to... Oh, damn it. I was supposed to make roof blocks, not regular blocks. That was my mistake. Damn it. All right. Well, um, do we have bricks in here? Oh, we got bricks in here. Okay. Flower pots. Uh, let's get another batch of bricks going. I have clay. I've got a stack of clay. Is clay used for... I think there's maybe one or two other things that it's used for, but... I don't know. So it, let's, let's just split it in half. And grab a little more wood. We'll make some more bricks. Okay, now we need to make roof blocks. Fired brick roof blocks. Roof tiles. Oh, uh, we need clay for that. Interesting. And plant fiber as well. Is that new? I don't remember needing that stuff in season one. Could be wrong though. Definitely could be wrong about it. Grab the clay. make that much. All right. Now, what we want to do is 
I don't think it's going to let me get close enough from down here. Um, we might need to build a scaffolding then. What do we need for that? Wood logs and string. It's the same uh, materials regardless of which one we do. Put that stuff back in there. Grab some string. Uh, bones go in the wood chest because bones and wood are exactly the same thing. In case you guys didn't know that. Yep, they are. Nowhere to lie. Split stack. Let's grab maybe 50. Um, are these the same height? I don't know. Let's just make this one. Now the question is, can we... We have a place to put it where it'll... Yeah, I know that's total jank. But we're, we're going with it anyway. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Ah. <laughs> uh, God damn it. We might be better off just getting on the roof. Yeah, cuz it's well, okay, no, we can we can shift it forward. So Q There we go. That's what we want to do. And uh we want it to go right there. Well, okay, first uh, oh, it's not letting us remove. Okay, shit. Um, why is that? Let me remove. All right, let's go back to here and do this then. Is that enough to let me get the roof piece in now? Uh, no, back this way. There. That's almost there. I had it out one thingy too far. Huzzah! Look at that! Beautiful! Absolutely beautiful. We do good work, ladies and gentlemen. We do good work. Let's see what it looks like from the inside. Uh, what? 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 That roof is exactly where it needs to be. Oh, uh... I think I see the problem. Here, let's get back up here. I think it's just because those blocks are missing inside. Maybe. I don't know. Let's let's um let's put them in place and see if that's what the issue is. It still looks like this is... It almost makes it look like it's a double roof here or something. Maybe it is. Why would it be, though? That's just really odd. 
if we let's go back down to here and go back down to here. Whoops, overshot that one. I I think that's what's going on there. I think that's like a double roof. Maybe, I don't know. It's just really bizarre. It's a little janky spanky right there too. Well, no, I guess it isn't. That's the way, I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, I think that that looks pretty good. Um, you know, we'll have to clean up this floor here, get all the stone and all that crap off the floor when the time comes. But uh, it's progress, and about that's about all the time I want to spend on building in this episode. We got to get moving on the other things. So let's get stuff put away, and then we'll get ready to head out here. All right, guys, we are back. Um, I actually uh, cut the camera and went out and harvested a bunch of um, fireflies at nighttime. Made up a whole bunch of glow dust and some more wisp of light potions. Uh, I also want to run over to uh, the our, our little elixir potion farming place and grab some of that real quick before we head over to the highlands. Okay, so that gets us four elixirs. We have just a tiny bit of health taken away, so let's just eat a a blue or purple berry, whatever the hell it's called, uh, to top that off. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way to the Ancient Spire for Highlands, head south, um, and... The tannery is somewhere right around in here, I think. And we'll, we'll hit a couple flame sanctums along the way. It looks like there's another obelisk for us to do, too. Uh, we won't worry, about, won't worry about Sun Temple stories right now. We'll take care of that later. Uh, so, yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Actually, too, you know, that um, obelisk might... I gotta remember where that obelisk is. Let's take a look at the map again. Okay, yeah, it's right over there. Let's do a, a waypoint on it. And if we jump down to here, um, I th thought that I thought that tower had a chest on. Maybe it does, and we just can't see it because of render distance. That could be the case. Okay. Let's buff up here. I don't know why I have that in my inventory. We're going to want one of these. Um, one of these. I don't have a prayer flame scroll at the moment, so... Okay. Let's see if we can... Oh, it is over here. Okay. It was a little further... Off this way. See what we get. We get uh, runes. Whoops. Did I loot it? Oh, yeah, it went down here. Okay. All right, 81 runes doesn't suck. Let's see here. That obelisk might be down in the muckety muck. I think it probably is. So we're, that's not what we're after today, so I think we're going to skip that. Now, there's also a chest. I don't know if it's a gold chest or a silver chest at the top of this tower. 
Um, we might need to. Yeah, we might need to. Um. Oh shit. Yeah, the, we we got to remember these guys are at our level at least, so they're not pushovers. Are they coming after me? Why don't we do this? Let's get back up uh, to the spire again. And we'll see if we can hit that tower. But we just need a, you know, a higher jump off point, of course. Uh, we're going south, right? Whoops. Okay. Sure, we got full stamina. Here we go. We need to we need to get upgraded our glider too. I don't know if the carpenter has a new one available for us yet or not, so we'll have to look into that. But we should be able to hit this. Yeah, it is a gold chest. Nice. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. We're good. We got this. That could be an upgrade. Okay, this is a level 20 ice wand. 35 damage, and, and it's legendary too. Uh, definitely better. We would be giving up our shock damage though. But it's got ice armor and mana leech, and fire armor too. <laughs> um, Yeah, I, I think that's probably worth swapping out let's just hang on to it for now and we'll see how things go all right let's go i'm not going to do anything else here got to work our way down to that fortress uh directly ahead of us out on that island there that's where we're going we're on fireball right We'll nuke some VUCA along the way because they dropped some pretty good stuff. Oh, look. There's their little buff thing, too. That's uh, primarily for strength, but I think it does also maybe provide some health and or stamina buff, too. So put it this way. There's no harm in, in taking it. It's not going to hurt us to do so, even if it doesn't help us. Chickens will give us bird meat. Once we get uh, Emily's almanac stuff, though, then we'll uh, be able to graduate to the next level of of food. So that is... I don't know if we'll get to that in this episode. We're going to try. It just depends upon how long it takes us to get through everything. the ice. Oh shit, I forgot to upgrade to the better ice bolt. We should do that too because where we're going we're going to have to fight scavengers. Alright, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. Let's go, let's get to where we're going and we'll set down a, a flame altar so I can head back real quick. Do I have a flame altar in my inventory? I do not. Okay, let's grab some stone while the grabbing's good. That should be enough to make one. Beautiful. Okay, let's go. Guys were telling me in the comments that these little pillar things will also give you stone. Which would probably be useful to know in Kendallways in particular, because it's very difficult. Well, relatively difficult to find stone there. Hey, you know what? Whilst we're here, we should grab some wheat. Oh, shit, that scared me. Rude. Rude. 
Yeah, let's grab some wheat whilst we're here. And then we can get going on that. I hear another tiger somewhere. I decided after running out of potions, well, no, actually we didn't run out of potions, but running out of health um, charges for our staff that I'm going to carry bandages as well as potions, at least until I make a, a batch of maybe some small potions and some big ones. They must have been stuck in there. Don't care about the peppers. Unless we need them for some higher level food that will benefit us, but peppers by themselves don't. And if we do, then we'll come and get them. I think there might be a chest or something in that house, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it. Let's keep moving. Let's put our Alter down. And head home and make that better ice bolt spell. I was going to do that at the beginning of this episode, but I, I forgot. I spaced it off. No surprise there, huh? All right, what do we need? Eternal Ice Bolt. Let's pin that. I think I sh I hope I have enough ammonia glands for that. I think I do. We're going to find out. Oh, yeah. We certainly do. Okay, so let's go 20 of these. What else do we need? Fossilized Bone Dust. Um, I think I have that in... Um, I think I have that in the grinder. Do we... Okay, are these the plant plantable ones or the ones that we got to make into seeds? Oh, they changed the way those look. Those used to be black. Looks like my autumn trees are getting ready to harvest, too. For more resin and wood. Let's go... Uh, wheat seedling. So we need bone dust for that as well. Okay. So let's grab the bone dust out of here. Yeah, we got lots of bone dust. Eternal ice bolt. 79 damage. Only a one second cast time versus 35 damage. This is the old eternal ice bolt. So, so can you not even make the old one anymore? They just can, they just replaced it, right? Looks like that's the case. Okay. Well, then let's, I'm not going to get rid of it. The old one, let's just keep it just in case. Um, yeah. We'll put that in there. Um, let's actually upgrade our wand as well. That new wand we just got. And uh, let's get these planted too. So let's see. We need water uh, and wheat seed. Rest of this wheat seed, let's grind up into flour. All right. Um, what else were we gonna? Oh yeah, we were gonna upgrade the new wand. Enhance equipment, frozen core wand. Yeah, forty-seven damage versus thirty-five, even though it's just ice. 
Um, I still think that's a pretty decent upgrade for us. You know what? Maybe we'll keep the shock one too, just for the hell of it. For now, anyway. Uh, we got a short sword, level 20. That's uh, going to get salvaged. And yeah, I think we're good to go. All right, I'm going to put the rest of this stuff away. Uh, looks like it's starting to get dark too, so I might wait until tomorrow morning and then uh, bring you guys back at that point. All right, guys, it is morning and we're back at the bridge here. Um, one thing one of you guys told me in the comments, and this is just a the easiest and most obvious thing, but I never thought of it, is that if you if you run off and forget to unpin a recipe, um, just go into your inventory recipe and then pin something new and then unpin it to get rid of it. So super, super useful advice. Um, like I said, I don't know why I didn't think about that, but I didn't. So there you go. Just in case somebody else maybe hasn't thought about that either. This is our new wand. Let's grab the sage here. Okay. So we want this to be on our new eternal ice bolt. With a fast cast time and a lot more damage. Pause the screen, read that. There's a chest here. Uh, we need to take one of these too. Oh man, just barely didn't kill him. You son of a... Chest down here. Oh! Nice! Regular stone block. I wonder if that's the one we've been looking for. I don't know, but I'll take it. If nothing else, it gives us another option, right? Okay. Oh, my necro guy went over and got those. Got, got them. All right. Let's loot you. Whoa, forgot about that. All right. There we go. Let's see if we can lob one up into this dude. They were supposed to um, have changed in the latest update the AI behavior. When you're shooting at them, they don't just stand still now and let you shoot at them. So, that uh, makes sense. The nice thing about the ice bolt, too, is it's got the slowing effect. There's someone right up above us, I think. Kill him with the AOE. Oh, we need some mana. Did, did we get him? No, we didn't. Oh, shit. There he is. Got him. All right. Oh, I love those sound effects. <laughs> That's awesome. I did. I I thought I was hearing something, but it didn't register in my brain exactly what it was. That is cool. Let's take some of those. All right, back to the ice bolt. We want to switch to firebolt when we 
take on the Matron now. Okay, let's get the rest of these guys looted. Alright. Oh, here he is. He's way over there. Oh, she's out already. Shit. Actually, Ice Bolt's doing a pretty good job on her, too. Let's switch to... Oh, yeah, let's do an Acid Bite. Damn it, she did an Acid Bite on us. Okay. Let's just get back to our good old standby here. She's down. Um, I didn't know she could, like, come out there. I thought she was kind of stuck in the... Back in the, you know... Courtyard, I guess it is, or whatever. But apparently, that is not the case. Okay, let's go back to Ice Bolt. And... You just have to go in here to get the thingy. I think there's probably a couple chests and stuff we can loot too. There might be a few more bad guys left. Uh, case in point. Oh my god, I love that sound effect. <laughs> it's so awesome. Mystic chest. Um, well, let's take a look at that. So, we're a magician's chest. So, they're the same level. This just does wand damage. This does health and mana. Uh, no, I think we'll stick with what we have. What's it look like, though? It's kind of cool looking. But, yeah, no, we'll stick with what we have. Okay, there's our goal there. And another silver chest, too. Got it. Nice. Salvage that on... We can't, can't salvage that, unfortunately. Uh, this thing. Ah, oh, I, I hope, I hope those are the blocks that are the same, you know, as our, go ahead and pause that, uh, that, that our base is currently made out of. All right. Oh, look, there we go. An elixir. We'll take it. More bad guys. Blow that up just because we can. Grab some hide that we can use to turn into leather. Anything in here? Yeah, we got a regular chest with some bombs and more leather. I don't think we want that meat. Uh, okay, I think that's it for in here. Is there something up here? Not that I can tell. There's a chest. Okay, I think we're pretty much finished here. Um, trying to decide if I want to try and go for the almanac too. That's a fairly long fight. And, and if we want to get the other block there, which we do, it's going to take even longer. So I think we go, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here, guys. And then we'll start the next episode by going after 
the almanac. Yeah, so that's the plan. All right, guys, um, I'm going to go back to the base um, and get the tannery set up and get working on leather so that way we can make our final two uh, magician set pieces and, you know, the other things that we need leather for. And then uh, the plan will be we'll start the next episode and we'll go after, we'll, we'll probably do a little more work around the base first and then we'll go after the almanac. So that being said, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and let's see what she has to say. Tanning station's found. Place it down so we can get to work. Okay. And um, I think that's it. All right. See you guys. Bye-bye.